things going on YouTube, so you know it's best here, best here. Hey, it's going on YouTube, so you know it's best here. And I'm here to heed a very important warning to all the PC users out there and anybody that uses Windows, whether it's on a Mac or a PC, um, that on April the 1st, there's a, a, a chance that your computer may be getting taken over. Um, and well, you along with millions of other computers may be getting taken over by a worm called Configure. Now Configure is a worm that has been spreading since last year, since October 2008. And um, within the first four days, it already had, what do you say, about 4 million? It already had 4 million, uh, well, actually 3.5 million computers infected within the first four days. And uh, now they estimate the totals to be between 15 and 20 million infected PCs. Now, this is a worm that gets on your computer more than likely through a USB drive, a USB drive that's already been infected with it. And once you plug that USB drive into your computer, if you have Windows, more than likely you have auto run enabled. So once you plug the USB drive in there, the auto run automatically starts and the worm gets in your computer. And so the worm is capable of disabling very critical and important system services like Windows Automatic Update, Windows Security System, Windows Defender, and Windows Error Reporting. All right, so it gets in there, it, it disables that, so it builds itself a nice little nest there to, to lay. And so what's been happening is back since um, 2000, uh, since October 2008, you know, the worm has just been sitting on these computers. The worm is not doing anything. It's just sitting there hibernating. But on April the 1st, um, um, Microsoft and along with some other security companies are saying that on April Fool's Day that um, it could be awakened. So what's going to happen is, well, what's the possible to happen is that on April the 1st, this worm is going to come alive on your, on your computer if it's affected. And it's going to open up a couple of ports on your computer to access the Internet. And then the host... Uh, I guess the host network or the host computer that's actually running this whole uh, worm, config of worm, is going to be able to access your computer through those open ports and be able to take files off your computer um, and uh, be able to disable some more uh, things that's on your computer. It's going to disable system restore points, so you're not going to be able to fix this. Um, and also, it, it can just take complete control of your computer and actually become its own slave, its own zombie. Um, I don't know, use zombie, but okay, it'll take full control of it. It has a possibility to do that. And uh, then it can be able to have it do anything you want, make uh, rogue attacks on certain websites or do whatever. Um, so Microsoft has, um, um, on February 13th this year, Microsoft um, is offering a $250,000 bounty for the heads of this person or these people who are making this uh, worm. A quarter of a million dollars. Uh, so they're really um, stressing that this is a very important thing by showing us that they're offering that big amount. Now, my problem is with this. I really didn't. I heard about this last year and I just completely forgot about it. And um, I came across Yahoo. Um, I went to the Yahoo's page in their tech section. And this was one of the stories on here. And other than that, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't have heard about it uh, unless it's shown on CNN or something like that. Um, so this is a, a very important thing, um, but I don't think a lot of people really know. I don't think the average person really knows what's going on here, what's the possibility of something to happen. And, um, and Microsoft has its own guide to how to detect. You can go to the website and have a detector to see if you have the room on there, um, and also a guide to remove it off of there um, if possible. Um, also, to try to kind of prevent yourself, they say, you can uh, just disable auto run, and that should that should make you safe. Um, but the United States Computer Emergency Readiness Team—I didn't mean, you know we had one of these—but uh, they have determined that Microsoft guidelines on just disabling auto run is not is not fully effective, and they provided their own guys. I didn't go check it out to see what it is, but they say they have something better to better protect yourself. Um, so about 20 million, possible 20 million computers could be affected. So I will recommend if you're a heavy Windows, well, if you're a Windows user at all, uh, make sure you have your antivirus up to date. Make sure your firewall protection. Make sure you're going to the website checking for this because April the first, it can get ugly. It could get ugly. Um, but I feel that you know, much my my point on here. I'm not gonna make this video too long. Is that you know Microsoft is not really doing that good of a job getting the word out about this. I mean, 20 million computers, 20 million people with families. It, it could be, it could be pretty bad, you know. Um, now they just released a commercial talking about uh, they had this fake actress going to a store looking for a PC and saying Macs are just for cool people. 
I'm not even going to talk about that. But they just released that commercial uh, not too long ago. But my concern is you got this April 4, April 1st is coming up on this Wednesday. How about you release a commercial warning people about this and telling them how to protect themselves? If you're offering a quarter million dollars, and obviously this is something that you're worried about and you can't fix yet, um, well, you can't provide a preventive fix that everybody can take advantage of. Um, so um, if you uh, if you're using, using Windows, definitely uh, get yourself in order there. Um, now, they have released some pack, patches to this to fix the vulnerability. Uh, but again, if you don't have, if it's already on there, it's probably disabled you from getting automatic updates. So you probably don't have it if that's the case. So this is a heat warning there. Um, Make sure you do check out your computers here, and everybody should be checking out your computer, whether you're Mac or PC. Well, obviously, us Mac users don't have to worry about this type of problem. Uh, but uh, definitely uh, keep yourself safe out there for April Fools, and uh, hopefully the joke is not on you for this. And uh, if you like watching what you see here, uh, I am Soldier Knows Best. You can check out my channel here on YouTube. Uh, I make a lot of different videos going on for different topics, mo mostly Apple and Mac. And you should subscribe to my channel and be all the Mac and enter into my giveaways. And you can follow me on Twitter at Soldier No Best without the S at the end of the nose. So Soldier No Best. And I'll catch you later. Peace.